guys, so today's video is going to be a beauty haul. I have half the items that are unboxed and untouched, so I'll be opening them in front of the camera for you guys. And then I have another half of the items that are pretty much already opened. I got too excited, so I've been playing around with them already. And I'm going to get started with the items that I'm going to unbox first, and then I will show you guys all the items that I've already opened. I made an order on Belk.com. I think it's called Belk.com. It's B-E-L-K. Com. I don't have the store in the state where I live or anywhere around the states where I live and so I don't really know how to pronounce it but I think it is pretty much like a department stores like Macy's because on the website they have clothes, they have makeup, they have like a bunch of stuff that you can buy but I made one order and I have two packages right here so I'm gonna open the first one um, the first one I think only has one item because I only feel one thing in this package but it is this um, MAC, I don't even know what it is I'm going on vacation soon so I decided to get a lot of like waterproof makeup or waterproof resistant makeup and so I decided to get this MAC Pro Longwear Waterproof Brow Set. It's basically a tinted brow gel. Um, I've been using the Anastasia brow gel but um, it's not really waterproof or water resistant so I got this one. I heard great reviews on this online. I did my research. A lot of people mentioned that once you put this on you really can't take it off without like an oil based makeup remover so I decided to get this this color looks pretty right for me I didn't want it to be completely black but I also didn't want it to be blonde obviously because I'm not blonde but this color looks good so far and um, the tube is a decent size so I'm excited to try this out I literally hate wearing lip gloss because my hair keeps getting stuck onto my mouth and it's just really freaking annoying it's like either I gel my hair like flat onto my head so it won't move into my mouth or just stop talking. I don't know. I just hate lip glosses. I'm kind of regretting wearing this lip gloss right now. Anyways, this is the next package that I got. Again, this part of my order, except it came into like two different packages. So I will be opening this one. And I can't. You know, anything that comes in a box, Loki always thinks it's for him for some reason. I think it's because he thinks it's his bark box. But this is what the box looks like. It's pretty decently like weighted. Um, Got lots of packaging paper here, and then got my receipt. So the first thing that I see on top of this box is this little, uh, what is this? This is the Origins High Potency Night A Mins. It's a mineral enriched renewal cream. Um, it's just a little sample size. What is this supposed to be for? I guess it's just a night cream. So that's cool, I'm gonna try that out. The next thing that I see in this box is this, it's kind of opened, ooh, but the packaging is really pretty. It's a MAC Prep and Prime Fix Plus. I've heard so many people talk about this for so long, like literally ever since I started watching YouTube, people have been talking about this Fix Plus, but I never use this, I never know what the hype is, because I feel like it just looks like water. I've always been using the Urban Decay Makeup Setting Spray, um, I show that in a lot of videos, but it's finally decided to try this, because this is cheaper then the setting spray by Urban Decay, so decided to try this. I know they came out with like coconut and lavender scented ones, um, but those are limited editions, so I got the regular ones. The next thing that I see in here is again, the packaging looks all opened and shit. Like why does it look like this? I don't know. But this is the, um, what is this? This is the day cream that I got, it's by Origins. It's called A Perfect World SPF 40. Age Defense Moisturizer with White Tea. I really wanted this because it was SPF 40, so I decided instead of like putting on sunscreen, I can just have sunscreen on as soon as I have my day cream on. So I'm gonna smell this because I don't know if it stinks or not. It smells like, um, you know what it smells like? It smells like green tea. And I'm kind of liking that, but it's a really thick kind of paste. It's really thick and white, so I'm going to have to put that on my face because I'm afraid that it's going to have a white cast. You know how usually when you put on SPF and your face just turns like friggin' white? Yeah, I'm going to have to try this out because I hope it doesn't do that. Because if it does, I'm screwed. That's the opposite of what I wanted. Um, I also got the Origins of Perfect World SPF 20 Age Defense Eye Cream. Um, the last time I went to Hawaii, I came back really dark. Like none of my concealers or foundations looked good on me anymore. My lip colors, my blushes, like literally nothing matched my skin color. So I'm like going all out on SPF. This is a really tiny tube, by the way. This is super tiny for the price I paid. This is 0.5 ounces. Usually my eye cream has at least one fluid ounce in it. This one has half, so I'm hoping this shit better be good. And it better like protect my eyes from the sun because if it doesn't, I'm gonna be angry shopper. 
Okay, the last three things in this box, I think that's it, right? Yeah, so the last three things in this box is, this is another sample, this is the Estee Lauder Pure Color Envy. Um, it's a sculpting lipstick, so that's what it looks like. I do not remember getting this as a sample, but I'm gonna open this if I could. I think it's in a really red color, because usually Estee Lauder samples, they're kind of like old lady colors, if that makes sense. I really cannot open this packaging. Finally got it open. This packaging is ridiculous to open, but this freaking wrapper right here. But um, I got the color NV332 called Bold Face, and I just think it's a red color. Pretty much is. The tube looks really nice. It's like a blue purplish tube with gray, with gray, with gold um, detailing on the top. And yes, it is just a really bold red lipstick. I don't know if I'm gonna use this because I'm usually not a person for like super super red. Lipsticks. If I go for red, it's usually a darker kind of like vampy um, red color. But this is really pretty. I feel like I'll find the occasion one day to actually wear this out without looking ridiculous. The last two items that I'm gonna unbox are these two. These are both by Mac. This is the Mac Pro Longwear Concealer. I've heard so many great things about this concealer. I know a lot of people use this as foundation as well, but I've never used this. I never even tested this out. I am in the color NC30. It looks like a good match for me. This is actually, is this a glass bottle? It feels like glass, by the way. Um, this is really kind of strange for concealer because it pumps out. Um, I'm not really used to having concealer that pumps out because I've been using my Maybelline concealer for over like two years now. That's a little twist up with a little brush head. It's called the Dream Lumi Concealer, I believe. But um, lately, I don't know why, I've been breaking out all over the place. So I decided to give this a try because I heard the coverage was absolutely amazing. So I'm gonna give this a try. I hope I like it as much as other people do. And the last thing that I'm going to be unboxing today is the MAC Liquid Last Liner. This is my favorite waterproof eyeliner ever. And I'm saying ever. I've tried a lot. I use a lot of eyeliner, as you can tell in this video right now, or my, all my other videos. I have monolids, and so I use a pretty thick like slab of eyeliner because you know I pretty much have to but this is so good I did a video a long time ago which I will link down below the video is of me putting this eyeliner on and I took a shower with it I washed my face with it and it stayed on the entire time it's absolutely amazing I took this to Hawaii with me for my last vacation and it stayed on throughout my surfing lesson it was just awesome it didn't even budge and I also took this with me to Hong Kong which is a really long plane ride and it lasted the whole time so this is amazing absolutely love it this is my second tube of it because I don't use it every day but I'm gonna keep repurchasing this and I hope they never discontinue this stuff because I need it anyways moving on to stuff that I already opened some of the stuff is from Sephora and some are from Mac but I'm gonna continue on with the Mac products since I've already been talking about them so the first thing that I got is the Mac um, prep and prime BB cream this is the SPF 35 I got this because it has a higher SPF than the one that I really liked. Uh, the one that I really like is the Laura Mercier. Hold on, I have it with me. The one that I really like is the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. This one has SPF 20, but this one has SPF 35, so I decided to try this one. Plus, it was cheaper than the Laura Mercier, so I thought this would be a good replacement. By the way, this packaging is so gorgeous. Like all these MAC packaging is like black with purple swirls, and it has like little green specks. It reminds me of the Galaxy. Really pretty packaging. The last MAC item that I got in this haul is the MAC Pro Longwear. Oh, I got another brow set. This is also in the color Broad. Broad. This is also in the color Bold Brunette. So I got two waterproof brow sets. Huh, I'm smart. It's okay, I'll just return one of them. And I can't even open this one. Alright, so the next things that I got are the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizers. I got one in Oil Free and the other one in the original. They're both SPF 20 and they're both in the color Bis. I think the one in the Oil Free comes in like a darker packaging. Yeah, it does. It comes in like kind of a brown packaging and the original one comes in just a tan packaging like this. But this is my favorite Tinted Moisturizer ever. Um, it's kind of expensive so I'm hoping that MAC BB Cream will be better than this one so I don't have to keep spending $44 on these and the last few things that I want to show you are just samples oh I lied I also got the Becca shimmering skin perfector in the color prismatic amethyst it's the kind of like purpley purpley color this is limited edition but I liked it because the packaging looks so cool 
and you know this color looks gorgeous it's like a purpley kind of silvery color I'm hoping it looks good on me the last things that I have to show you guys are just samples so I got the 100 point perk um, what is this called the Clinique chubby stick in sculpting highlight so this is just the Clinique chubby sticks in a highlighting color this looks kind of like a pinkish silvery color I'm excited to try this out and then I also got a Bite Beauty Lip Crayon. This is the matte lip crayon in the color... I can't pronounce it. I'll type it on the screen, but I really don't want to butcher the name. I can't pronounce anything. But this is what it looks like. Oh, it's pretty big for like a sample size. It looks pretty nice. It looks like a really deep mauve color that would look great in probably like the fall of the winter. But I'm probably going to use this in the spring anyways. So there's that. Also 100 points, by the way. And then the last few items are just random um, samples that they throw in the package. So I got a Belief, Believe in Truth, the True Cream Aqua Balm. It's just a day cream. I got the Verb Mild Color Safe Cleansing Shampoo and Conditioner. That'd be great for when I go on vacation. And then I got the Clarins Multi Active uh, Day Cream. has SPF 20. And then, what is this? I don't even know what this is. Oh, oh, this is the Shiseido. Oh, Shiseido. That's kind of expensive for a sample size. But this is the Shiseido uh, Wrinkle Resist Pure Retinol Eye Mask. And then I also got the Power Infusing Concentrate. And this one is the Wrinkle Resist 24 Intensive Eye Contour Cream. Oh. That's pretty cool. I'm excited to try the eye mask to be honest. But um, yeah, so that was it of this haul. I think that was everything that I showed you guys. Yep, this bag is pretty much empty now. And so yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye.